Is okay. that what you're talking about? Yes um, and no. Okay. Uh, call the meeting to order. We already did the Pledge of Allegiance. Roll call. Mr. Behrens? Present. Mr. Christensen? Present. Mr. Noonan? Here. Okay. Approval of the agenda, which is very basic. We're just here to talk about the uh, fiscal year 2024 Parks and Rec budget. Move to approve. Uh, oh, second. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, public comment. Well, I okay. guess at this moment I'm public. So, Charlie, I'm about Empire Township. Um, essentially, I would ask that the executive board in their budget preparations and submittal essentially include, make sure they include the top number one priority from each of the committees in the budget mm -hmm. uh, for the 2024 budget. Um, so in that case for all settlers, it would be the refurbishment of the gazebo is our number one priority for 2024. And that right now has a CIP approved, included in the CIP of $40,000. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so moving on to the Parks and Rec budget for 2024. Moving forward, I don't. I have not got my packet yet. We're not even ready. Okay. But because you're not going to meet in July, then we, it made sense to just keep the schedule. Yes, okay. So as I mean, as as we look forward and we look at on the back of the the sheet, Dave. Last year's minutes. Yes. Are the the projects that we had in the budget for this year that are not none of them are completed. Actually, or the park plan design, I guess. And the replacement of the dock sections is basically eliminated because that doesn't right. need to be done. But the money's there. Right. But anyway, but looking forward to next year, I mean, uh, as far as our capital outlay budget, that's some, the one that we've focused on the most because that's where we've asked for the most money. Most everything else has been status quo. I think we're going to end up having to ask for some increase, budget increase, line item increases, it seems like, because everything is getting more expensive. I don't know how that's going to be <laughs> received by the Board of Commissioners, but obviously looking at the budget this month, we've got some things that are more expensive than they once were. Um, for the most part, since I've been doing this, we haven't gotten an increase when we've asked for it. We've, we've basically been around the forty to fifty thousand dollar range, but what I've what we have tried to do is find ways to justify that money so that they keep putting it in our budget. We haven't always succeeded in spending it all, but we've come pretty darn close the last few years here. We've had a little more, a little better work. But like even with the gazebo work next year, if we put that in, the, in, in there, that's most of the capital outlay, which is good. And there's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. We just need to. We need to have ways to justify the money, and that's great to have. Comments from Dave and Steve. I'm confused, first of all, by these. These pages? Oh, oh. where'd you get that from? I don't have those. <laughs> oh, they're well, in my. Right. Those are, we share a printer, and that's how we can account. Okay. <laughs> Somehow I got sandwiched in with my stuff. I'm, I'm sorry? I got sandwiched in right. with my printer. Okay, because it was something the packet you handed me. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got power. <laughs> or I guess that's part of the. Well, you've got stuff from the CIP. Yeah, it's, a, it's all. Yeah, that's the CIP, CIP packet. Okay. What else are we looking for or looking to have in the budget? for next year as line or, or projects. So, I, I think needed that draft CIP. So all your park stuff that was added to the CIP is in there. So I, I will be putting those on the list. I'll make sure that they're on, on the list as budget items. Not all of them are obviously things that we can accomplish amongst our own budget. One, I don't know if this is, I think it's just starting to 
get out there a little bit more as far as the paved loop trail and the <coughs> team Elmer's quote and working on that. Elmer's has now sold to Reith and Riley. Really? Yes. Wow. I'll be darned. Yeah, that's what everybody says. Wow. Elmer's sold to two Reith and Riley? Yeah. Wow. I don't know the <clears throat> ins and outs of it yet. I don't think anybody does. Um, it should, I just heard about it officially today. I've heard word of it this week, but I got official word of it today. Um, I don't know how much public knowledge there is of that, but that's going to mess that up, I would assume. I, and by mess that up, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to cost more right off the bat. Yeah, we want Right. You know, we may we may have to look at other sources or other. We might have to formally clear out the goods. Yes. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't. I don't know. Just my. Um, when they bought our gravel pit, they immediately increased everything 25 percent the day they took ownership of it. They okay, being Reith and Riley. Reith, really. So what, I'm, I'm not sure what you're saying. The name of the company is what now? Reith and Riley. Oh. You don't need to necessarily put that in the minutes. I know I'm speaking it, but maybe just it was just kind of a. Heads up, yes. Well, there's Molan. Well, yeah, Molan would be one to look at. They're a pretty good company to deal with. Um, you know, and you may have to part it out. Maybe somebody could do the excavation work, then you look at Ron Brown or somebody to do the paving. I don't know. Um, something like that. Anyways, kind of a bummer. But. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, quite a shock. For everybody. So moving forward, I mean, I, I would like to fo forward on some of the projects that maybe maybe we aren't going to get done this year. Um, I don't know if we want to, as far as the paved loop trail, keep that in the budget for next year as an ask again. I don't. I. I as right now, there's still this money wild trail. number floating around that. State hasn't distributed yet. More funds. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think going in, just let's spend ten minutes and do a wish list. You know, it's like Christmas, and we're going to get everything we ask for, right? <laughs> we're four years old, and let's just list them out. If you don't ask, yes. That, <laughs> so Miles, you know. Um, we've got the Porta John enclosure thing, and I'm thinking that we should put twenty thousand dollars on that. Just kind of look, because we're going to want more than just the ADA John, and they're going to want a couple others. So, Dave, the sheets that you were looking at that you thought were part of it, did they look like this? Because that's actually part of the CIP. Right. Yeah. I, I, that I knew. Yes, it says CIP project priority level. I just and haven't gotten so clear on how to read it. Universal access. If you look under the second table, it states UA is 2023-06 UA access enclosures in Bandit Miles, and it's estimated at 33.05. What page? Uh, if you're looking at the CIP, it's page 24 of 35. And, and okay, um, and what I okay, what I'm not understanding on these smaller? pages is priority level. I mean, they, they aren't from top to bottom, are they? Um, when you see the priority level at the bottom, that one says three, and the CIA. Oh, I see. okay. Now I see it. Okay. The CIP page, it, it explains priority levels. Um, okay, page A of 35, priority one is urgent. And explains what qualifies as urgent. And then priority two is very important. Priority three is important. 
prior report is desirable but can be postponed. And that's on page eight and nine of the CIT. So the um, what you're saying is the Port of John is in there? And what is it listed as for money? Thirty-three oh fifty. Yes. With a priority three yes. for the CIP, which says it's important. So, so we should have not twenty thousand, but thirty-three thousand for the Port of John enclosures that we're going to want. Is that what you're saying? That's what they have in here. Well, I don't know. I, we just see, we're looking at a picture of, of a fourteen thousand dollar thing. Well, well I think if we go thirty thousand, the thirty three may be stemming from the project that they had kind of somewhat lined up there for. Oh, for miles, we had a lot of earthwork in that. Yes. Yeah. It says viewing access enclosures and paved path. Yeah, that we had a lot of earthwork on that. So maybe we bump that down a little bit. Just for the budget I, you line know, item, I, we don't, not 20, 20, should cut it. What do you think? For what they're looking at now, for what we're looking at now, would, I think we if, Yeah, we don't, no earth work. Let's just say we don't have to have any earth work. Oh, 20 right. grand should get us a pad and an enclosure for ADA one and maybe one or two others. Yeah. Regulars? I would think, I would think so. So Porter John. Veronica Valley, I'm just going to list. Port of John, Veronica Valley, 20,000. Um, walkway, Veronica Valley, I don't know what we've got in the CIP. Um, which, that would be a path or which which walkway? Well, I don't know what's in the well, CIP, what I, but well, what I said the first circle around the fish pond. I did it around the two fish ponds, I mean, for the CIP. And I what, have, what, 85,000 in it? Yeah. And that's but that's a that's both of them or one just phase one or phase two I, I, phase one forty thousand I submitted it before realizing we could go with phases let's do, do forty thousand phase one um, gazebo is gazebo in well settlers it's in I mean it's in the CIP for forty for forty thousand dollars and it's got a priority of importance. And that was the we could we could uh, as we move closer to submittal we can we can uh, piece that out a little bit you know uh, roof uh, I mean maybe there's item itemized right. you know maybe have it as forty grand total but then an itemized list yeah. underneath it yeah that's what I'm thinking and then miles portage on again twenty thousand um, and then let's keep the walkway in at one hundred ninety thousand we'll hit it again that's that whatever one hundred ninety gets us. Pave loop trail. Let's just can we do it just an even two hundred thousand? Why not? I, I there's probably a ten. Well, hundred and ninety has been out there for what, two years? Yeah. Yeah. Just to have an even number, I, I what what's ten thousand? Ten thousand dollars isn't gonna get us or not get us the Do we have pickleball in miles CIP? It's it is in the CIP. Um, install two pickleball courts is in at fifty thousand dollars, and again is in priority of important. Three. Let's, let's put that in. So, what are we missing? Well, let's so go. Let, go if ahead. If you want, I can go. I can go across all the CIP items well, related to the I parks, and you can tell me. I, I will. Do. I'll look through those as we. I'm, I'm writing down these things that Steve's talking about. Miles, we've got chubbied up on miles. I don't know that we're asking for two sort of big and one whopper at miles. I don't know how many we're going to list well, when we actually go and submit the thing. Um, and the way I've worded it with in the, the my introduction is it's not we're not going to do all of these obviously, but these are ways that we can use that money to get these projects accomplished based on enthusiasm from the subcommittees basically. You know, there's there's lots of ideas always floating around on this board of, of ways to spend money where there's no lack of that, but it takes a Dave to get motivated and write a grant and get a project moving or something like that. I mean, it really takes somebody 
dedicated to spearhead the whole project. Uh, so that's kind of the way I've approached this since I've done it is have a nice list, make a little paragraph there that kind of talks about some of the projects, maybe some of our bigger priorities, and then just show a way to justify that, hey, there is a, there is a need for this money. Uh, and some of these projects have been on the list since I've, I've been here, but they're projects that we continue to talk about, so I always have them in the budget. Whether that's the best way to design it, I don't, I don't know, but that seemed to be. Well, we've had a lot of success in the last three years. We have. We cleaned up Miles County Park for several thousand dollars. We uh, fixed the grub shack and that was a good. Yeah, that was a good project to get done. That was a. That was a multi-year deal. The entry to Veronica. So. Um, so we've got a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of money, and maybe the structure of the submittal, you know, puts the first column sort of at fifty-four or sixty thousand, whatever the uh, whatever we got this last year. It's still only forty-five, I believe. Last year we got a total of fifty-five thousand per capita. It was it was 50 for capital and then it was like a set with the separate one for under capital outlay under 5,000. I thought it was two together total 55,000. Um, I thought it was like 4,000. What's our regular capital outlay? Well, 55. Oh, 50. Okay, so it was 55. Okay. It was 55, and then there was 5,000 additional in the under. Well, under it 5, came through as four. Okay. For whatever okay. for whatever reason. Yeah, okay. so 59,000 was total between those two items. Correct. Yeah. So, Steve, what? I'm just thinking if we have column one that is roughly commensurate to the budget we had last year, maybe instead of 55, it's 65 or 75 or whatever, then we have the second column that adds the bigger more, more of the bigger project, and the third column is the whoppers that are high in the sky, which may only be the paved walking trail or paved walking trail and pickleball. Kind of a I don't know, kind of yeah. a bang, bang, bang. You know, these are the things we're looking at. This is the money we want. And what do you give us, County Board of Commissioners? I like that idea. No, the, <clears throat> the list that you were putting together there, you said 40,000 for phase one of how is it listed in the CIP, Dave? Well, it's the, the, the trails. Veronica Valley. It's a trail. The uni Veronica Valley construct universally accessible trail encircling the ponds. So it's not that's, a walkway. It's that's a the trail. trail. It's a trail encircling the ponds, and it's in here in the CIP at eighty-five thousand dollars. Which was my guess right. of total. And cost, that's considered total cost, and that's that's for. Going two, around both, both two loops, loops. Loop, yeah, both lobes of the pond. I mean, the main fishing pond with the bridge over it and the upper pond. That's yeah. that's what I put in for the CIP. The only thing this doesn't have is the cash flow from that was submitted with the CIP. So I don't know if you had those two loops split between 2024 and 2025. Two loops now. You the, no the two he ponds. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't do phase one, phase two. I didn't. I he didn't even did know. Well. I hadn't thought of phase one, phase two okay. when I submitted that in the uh, for the CIP so I guess that was part of my question you put in 40,000 was that for phase one a phase one um, and that's because there's it's this extra some, it's simple DARPA money it's simple uh, and it, when we get to phase two we're going to have to go are we going where where's phase one cut across is it the, the, the current Mackinac bridge, bridge? Current bridge, phase one. Mackinac Bridge. Mag Mackinac Bridge. Yeah, and this phase two, we got to make a bridge. That's right. And that's eagle permit and all that hoorah. Is maybe a permit not, maybe not an eagle. No, maybe not an eagle. Because we didn't have to do eagle for the other one. No, maybe no eagle. Okay. So we'll put a zipper on you here real quick. <laughs> Scratch eagle. No comment on eagle. All right. But I, I mean, just I'm just thinking out loud and, you know, that... The complexity of doing the bridge versus 
the one that's already there. You know, it's a matter of a little scraping and a little spreading of the little fine pebbles, and it's done. You know, I mean, it's real simple. And for phase one, I, I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, it doesn't have to be any of this. I'm just throwing it up, spitting it up against the wall and see what sticks. Casey has to leave at five. Let's get this done. <laughs> well, I, I like I like the uh, I like the conversing. I would like to meet again, maybe once I get my packet and we can kind of really look at this again. I want I did want this meeting though in case we can't get another one okay. to start talking about some of these ideas. Here where everybody's coming from. Your help is great too, Charlie. Okay. I can't understand any of those sheets worth of okay. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 for this, they only gave you half the data. Yeah, well. Because it, there's actually a cash flow that goes with every one of these projects that shows what year you're the, what they wanted to spend the money. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, that's so this, well beyond this, my this, this is the total. But, but your your help with all this is, is very helpful. Uh, barring no other comments, I mean, I, I that's that's kind of been my process. I've got I've got a better handle on that. Whether it's the right way or the wrong way, I don't know. But that's kind of how I have structured it. But we're going to have to ask for some line item increases. And I want to look at that. And, uh, and again, that would be possibly augmenting Scott yes. with additional people that might be already here, but that's overtime or it's a new hire. Yeah. Well, even just, just things that have increased, like I said, some of those are yeah. over budget and some of them aren't. But anyways. Well, I, I actually, have, I didn't bring it with me. I have a document at home on my computer that's got the last three years, adding the fourth year now okay. by line item. Yep. And I can got a three-year average. So if you just wanted me to send you that, you'll see the three-year average that we've had. Okay. And you take that plus 10%, and that's your new budget for the next year. Love it. Uh, I like it. <laughs> if we can get it approved. Well, well it's, it's interesting because... What we we're running into is conceptual ideas of things that are really needed on the parks that cost a fair bit of money. Yeah, right. We're, we're they, at, they don't we're there. they don't fit what we've been given. Right, and what, what and there's no a lot of these things. There's no way to do part of it. You either do it or you don't. Some of it we can kind of piece it out together. I mean, I don't know if Scott has a deferred maintenance list of items that he would like to get done, but he just never gets the time to do. There's been a revolving list that we've looked at before. I don't know if he still has it or not, yeah. but I know there's a million projects. I, I know based on what's happening, there's you know the stuff that need that would like to be done should be done. But then you get approached by people also. Oh, I'd like this done, just like those the baseball dugouts. Scott's known about them, and right. it's just had this. It's a week-long project to power wash and let them dry, paint them in the whole works. So you got some help on that from the just from a community member. So he's he's got a, a little list somewhere, whether it's in his mind or written down. Any other questions or comments as of right now? I like the idea that you brought up of the potential of two uh, percent grant application for the ice rink yeah. idea. I have been planning to pull together the, the measurements, the cost estimates, et cetera, for this two-phase walk, UA walkway. Right? And I, I wondered if that would be a good 2% application. Um, Actually, this is just one thought. Um, I know that in the case of the loop trail at, My at Miles Kimberly, We've talked about possibility that there is grant money available from some or someplace. So when you request the budget, you request the total, but then you identify there could there's a potential grant offset. I, don't I, know didn't, I did not last year because we have we have we've been through the grant process a couple times, and we always get shot down because we have too much money in this community. We kind of, and yeah. So uh, go ahead, Laurel. I just read a story this weekend that Lima County is officially the richest county in Michigan. Yeah. yeah. So, so we. It doesn't matter. I've kind of I, I not that there aren't grants out there maybe that we, we could possibly get, but they would be smaller through some other source. D, the DNR grants are the ones that we have tried in there. Okay. Not interested. Unless you're this urban metropolis, 
insane walkability to the site, they're not even. Um, the, since I've been on this board, if you can get the community to get behind it, that's about the only way you're going to get any money raised. To, and I think the ice rink would be not a hard project. Be a lot of there are, and there's. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna. I usually see him once or twice a week. The guy that owns Builders Builders Waste, he's an avid hockey guy, and I'm sure he'd be very enthusiastic of helping, whether it's helping out with donating time or. Um, resources, I think he would be all about it. So I'll yeah, the trick is going to be getting water to it. Yes. I'm sure Fred would probably let him get water there. But I you know, know. he'll pump it. Yeah. And then it'll but be a matter of hauling it up there. Yeah. So I can talk to Dan about it a little more. I'll see him this summer. Our kids play baseball together. Yeah, it comes out, comes out at 58 degrees. Right. And if you can get it there quickly enough, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, had, we, I had asked him about that, how that works, because obviously, it, well, whatever, what do they call it, Zamboni? Isn't that what that is, where they resurface it or whatever? And he's like, yeah, there's kind of a makeshift deal that we use, a little bucket or a water trickle system, basically, that they pull behind a tractor or four wheeler or something. So. I've seen it a cooler with a attached bar. I guess it almost looked like old carpet, something that would trickle take it down. One, trickle it down. Yeah. Okay. The volunteer took this was a, a home. Yeah. In Minnesota, a home. Just pull, you know, with a rope onto the to the cooler, just pulled it up and down the ice. Huh. Um, Very. My neighbor, the one I helped for two years with their rink, first year it was down in the tennis court, and it was a disaster because we couldn't uh, maintain it. Last year we had a lot of earth moving down and put it right beside their swimming pool. And he put in a hot water source outside so he can spray it with hot water mm. at night and resurface it. That's yeah. it's, it's classic. Yeah. A little more than will happen out at Miles. Yeah. I hope it works out because I, I hope think it, it'd be hope fantastic it to have this. Well, way. you know, just the idea, there's a lot of people, a lot of people have big coolers. Yeah. You know, and if you had a trailer full of big coolers, right. you'd, you'd have 100 gallons or more of water in coolers that you could get to where you needed to go, and it wouldn't be freezing as you're as speaking. You're <laughs> you know, it, it would give you some time to do something with it. I don't know. Are we back on the agenda? Yes. <laughs> Is there any other questions? Charlie, do you have any other comments or questions right now? No, it's just I mean I will send you that public comment. I'll send you I'll send you the that Excel spreadsheet I've already got worked up. So if it helps, use it. Otherwise, don't. Okay. No, that'd be great. And I'm available. You mentioned the possibility of another meeting. I'll make that happen whenever. Okay. Yeah. Once I have the packet in my hands, and we can kind of go from there if that's do all right. Do we know when packets are coming, or that's kind of? Um, Sean, our new finance director. Uh, just started on Monday, and I'm sure he and Deb will have a conversation of uh, how they're going to approach the budget process for this year. I prepared a draft set of docs that we initially sent out to all departments and people that request funds from, and they're reviewing it now. We could be a little bit here, yeah. Which is fine. Yeah, there's nothing. It must be close to five. <laughs> There's nothing imperative about getting this done in June. Okay. Because we held up until December last year to right. the budget. Okay. Just as when I get that, we'll I'll try and get out and get a hold of everybody right away and get something planned so that we can all make it work. Find find some days to meet again. All right. All right. Move to adjourn. Support. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Nobody's opposed? <laughs> go home. You. I gotta go get my kids. Alright. Run from one place to the other. <laughs> zoom, zoom, okay. and zoom. Steve, the waggers check is in process. Dave, they are working on it. Okay. When is that coming pretty soon?
Don't, 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 don't publicize the date, but Wait, have them stop at my pond first. Oh. <laughs> I, no, I, haven't, I haven't heard anything from Heather about delivery, but it's typically two weeks away. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's good. So we'll have. To, what's the date again? Of the, as, as, soon, as soon as I get the check, we'll catch you guys later. Yep. Thanks, Casey. As soon as I get the, the check, I'll let you know and get it to you. Okay. okay. Thanks, Laurie. Thanks, Laurel. Thanks, Laurel. Yes, thank you. And last year I had to get the check to Lonnie because I was in Washington State. I won't be doing that. Come on.